It was really kind of the gem that was supposed to link the state capitol with downtown Olympia. We met David Ross at Olympia's Sylvester Park at the gazebo his father helped build in the 1970s. Clearly what we're doing is not working. He says Olympia has changed for the worse after a decade of what he calls enabling those experiencing homelessness. He says as mayor he would ban encampments while offering more affordable housing and shelters like the former Days Inn Hotel that just opened in Lacey. But Ross, who was a homeless outreach manager for Thurston and Mason counties, says those who benefit from the services need to be held accountable. When I used to do this work, what worked with people was meeting them where they were and giving them some hope, but also giving them some clear expectations and boundaries and limits. And we have sort of thrown the limits and boundaries completely to the wayside. Give me a chance, right? I've only been on the city council for 18 months. Dante Payne, an army veteran who spent two tours in Afghanistan, is currently on Olympia's city council. He says continuing existing programs like the one placing encampment residents into that old hotel and building more affordable housing will help solve Olympia's housing crisis. When you are dealing with moving people, um, you have to do it responsibly. And it's not just about providing shelter for people, it's providing uh, wraparound services that are going to support them in their efforts to once again rejoin our community and become productive members of our society. And that's a process that cannot just happen in the blink of an eye. Nobody thinks about how tiring it is to not have not have a job. Desiree Chantal Tolliver has never worked in government, but she says she'd bring a different kind of experience to the office. Last winter, she and her seven-year-old Iona lived in their car together. Tolliver says she found work and a home thanks to being a self-advocate, and now says she's ready to help others. When people fall into these cracks, underneath that crack is a huge gaping sinkhole full of other people who've all fallen in and do not know how to get out. Last December, outgoing Olympia Mayor Cheryl Selby announced she would not seek a third term. She has endorsed that council member, Dante Payne. The top two vote getters in the August 1st primary will face off here in November. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.